Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of a distributed commit, guys. Okay, okay. So I hope everyone remembers what is a commit, right? So in data in a database management system, we discussed the concepts of commit and few of the concepts. The logic is the same, guys. Here also, okay. Yes. So distributed commit. Okay. So here. Commit is nothing but saving the data, guys. You are finalizing the save, saving of data. So that is nothing but commit. So the goal here is nothing but we want an operation to be performed by all the group members or by none. So assume that you told the to update the value. <coughs> Sorry for that. Sorry for that, guys. So assume that the initial value of A near five servers is the value is a five, guys. Sorry, 10, guys. So now you want to update the value to five. Okay, so the best approach could be you will be going near everyone and you'll be checking there in live. So basically you told him to update five. Only once he updated, you will be moving on to the next place, right? So this could be an idea, but it doesn't make any sense in networks, right? Yes. So that is the reason why here we will be using a small trick, guys. So instead of saying to everyone to update the value and assuming that they will update, that could not be also a good idea. So here we'll be using a small trick. So that tricks only will be discussing in this lecture, guys. So basically I'll be giving you a small idea about the trick also. Don't worry. Okay. So in the two phase locking, I'm giving an example from two phase locking. Okay. Two phase locking. Remember that I'll be giving this example again, guys. Don't worry about that. So assume that there are two processes. Okay. And you want to update some value. So initially you will be asking each of them that whether they are ready to update or not. If only if they are ready to update, then you will be updating guys. Hence, you are taking some confirmation from them. Hence, you can say that the values will be updated for sure. So that is nothing but some kind of commit operation you can say, right? Yes. So now first let us go through what are the types of commits. So we are having three phases or three different types of commits guys. That is nothing but a one phase, a two phase and three phase. So one phase is a two basic that it cannot be used in real time guys. So even it cannot be used in any kind of scenarios. So that is the reason why one one phase commit is rarely seen in your books or anywhere. Okay. So it is nothing but maximum one way message. So basically you will be saying to everyone to update and you will be thinking that everyone will update. So it might be like a joke, but that is the concept here guys. So an elected coordinator. So basically who will be saying the coordinator, the coordinator tells all the other processes to perform the oper operation in question. Okay, so assume that they told to update the value of A to 50. So you will be informing everyone and you will be assuming that everyone will do. But if a process cannot perform the operation, so assume that we are having one boss that is nothing but your coordinator and we are having two processes. Okay, and assume that this process is working on some other process which is using the value of A. So basically it is performing the operation on A only and again you are saying to update the value. Hence, it will be saying that no, 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 I am working on some project. Let me complete the project. After that, I will update. So, but this message cannot be sent to this server. But assume that this process is ready to update and update the value. Now, these two values are completely different. And if someone comes and requests for the data in two servers, here you will be getting the value of 10 and here you will be getting the value of 50, which creates a huge confusion, right? So, the drawback here is that if the process or the worker is not ready also, we cannot know the information. So if a process cannot perform the operation, there is a no way to tell to the coordinator. So that is the issue in this one phase commit guys. So to resolve this own issue only, we will be using the two phase commit where the client or the other person can reply, right? Yes. So that is two phase commit. Okay. So let us meet in the next section and we'll be discussing about the two phase commit guys. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thanks for watching.